Hey, what's up? Matt from MarmoladaFilms.com Welcome to another exciting tutorial. Um, no, it shouldn't be me, it uh, should be video copilot. Anyway, doesn't matter. Uh, welcome here to this my first uh, tutorial about HDR high dynamic uh, range today you will see how to uh, create actually this video that you see now made by uh, Canon 60D uh, with uh, the firmware Magic Lantern 2.3 uh, and that is allow you to uh, do that stuff otherwise you can so you should download that firm firmware and uh, you can make uh, uh, the HDR video and you can continue with that uh, uh, tutorial important uh, I suggest to uh, record with 50 frames per second at least well first of all you need to import your video in your After Effects so I'm used to go uh, to my window and then drag on After Effects like this Okay, now we, we're gonna see uh, what is the movie that uh, ML Magic Lantern uh, create for me for HDR. Um, for HDR. So as you see, uh, there are uh, two frames: one with one exposure and the second one with another exposure. So. To create the HDR video you just need to combine those two layers, two frames and then voila, you will have a very nice video. So you create a new composition, then you need to uh, duplicate the composition. Uh, oops, I did it wrong, uh, be careful to select the composition on the project and then edit and duplicate. Here they go. Now I'm used to rename one composition with dark and one composition with light. This is because we need to split the, the video in uh, uh, the frames with one exposure and the other frames with uh, 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 the other exposure. Here we go. Now we zoom in on the timeline and we drag back a little bit for, uh, for one, just one frame, uh, the dark one. As you see now, our first frame is uh, uh, actually the dark. What I mean, the dark is for uh, the um, external, external uh, exposure. And the light, you just to need to uh, leave, uh, leave like that. After that, you just uh, uh, need to go to uh, right click on the composition, composition setting and then uh, you put on the frame rate 25 frame rate. Again for the light one 25 frame rate. As you see now we have uh, exclude the frames that we uh, didn't want. Now we have just a uh, um, the light frame here and the dark frame in the other composition. Now what we actually um, have to do is render those two compositions, so go on uh, um, composition, add to render check, the same thing with the light one and then I'm used to um, save it on PNG just to preserve all, uh, all uh, the data PNG seconds, yeah, there we go and now you save in a folder that uh, um, is dark, is one is dark and the other one is light just to organize everything, I already save it so you go on render and wait for your, uh, your render obviously uh, now you need to uh, import your PNG sequence to do that just on flat file uh, import file then you select your folder and you select your first uh, frame uh, PNG sequence must be uh, checked 
the holder thing with the light one. Okay, now that we have the sequence, we need to interpret the sequence because uh, most of the time it's not right uh, unless you set up. I didn't set up, so you need to right click on the sequence, interpret footage, and as you, as you see here, we need to put 25. Okay. The same thing with light, right click, interpret footage, main, and then there you can set the frame rate at 25 again. And now you can create your final composition. So, composition, new comp, set all as uh, uh, is uh, uh, the main uh, the main footage. Uh, set the frame rate at 50 as the original one. Okay, now you need to import on your comp the two sequences. The light one, it goes uh, uh, at the bottom. We create all of uh, these uh, um, steps because uh, I want to show you how to uh, eliminate uh, the ghost effect on your video because uh, if uh, you leave the video normal without doing uh, what I showed you uh, you can may maybe have some trouble look at there if uh, I hide one and the other as you see there is a little bit uh, of a uh, uh, difference between one and another frames. This is depending because uh, the frames is captured not at the same time but at different of a very uh, small piece of time. But if you move, also the image move. So to uh, solve this problem, you just need to um, put the dark layer Towards for one frame, and then uh, uh, you need to frame blend. Click on it, then press F4 to have the mod, and then here also you uh, select frame blending in for for both. And now you can see that everything is okay. Everything is in the right position because. Uh, the frame blend create the frames that won't exist in the original uh, in the original one. Now you just uh, um, need to duplicate the dark layer and press F4 again, and then uh, on the, at the bottom dark layer you need to track uh, Luma Mat. Press the track mat and luma mat. Et voilà. Now it's not finished yet. You just need to do uh, actually one more step uh, uh, to do it done. So now you, you need to go to your effects. You just can write on the uh, on the effects and write HDR and uh, select HDR Compounder and bring to your uh, dark matte layer. Here it goes. Okay. Now you need to set uh, uh, all uh, the data, the gain and the gamma. I already know what it is for this video, so its gain is 50. 0.50 and the gamma is about uh, uh, 8. Obviously, uh, depending on your video, you need to uh, play a little bit with uh, those values. And now, as you see, the video is very nice. You have uh, a normal exposure outside and a nice exposure. Uh, 
inside actually there is very very dark is very big difference but this is mean what you can do with uh, those video and it's very nice and it's very useful for from some reason thank you for watching my tutorial I'm sorry for my very bad English but I hope you understand uh, how to do that uh, uh, with the help of the of the video so thank you very much if you have uh, any questions uh, uh, just uh, write me on the comments thank you very much